Welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to take a quick look at what I believe is the next big market for growth investors. And no, I'm not going to say the metaverse. I know that word's kind of been thrown around. Uh, but on today's episode, I want to do the following. First, explain this market and why I believe it's going to be big in the next few years. Second, I also want to share three companies that I believe can benefit from this market. And finally, I'm not going to lie, I'm doing this video in a bit of a selfish way. I believe multiple minds are better than one. So even though I'm sharing three stocks that I believe can benefit from this market, if you, while watching this video, have some form of idea of a company that can benefit from this market we're about to take a quick look at, make sure to let me know in the comments below and we can kind of work out and do more videos on them in the future. While you're down there, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out the pinned comment where I have 10 free stock ideas for you. And I also have my free newsletter where I take a show all the companies that I take a look at for free. Uh, it's a weekly newsletter. Make sure to check it out. So let's jump into it. And like I said, this is not going to be a metaverse episode. That's what everybody's been talking about lately. Um, but it is dealing with a company that deals with that sector right now. And that is going to be NVIDIA. And first, I mean, I, I think listening to earnings call can really show um, you can hear a lot about the, some of the minds of these great innovators and entrepreneurs guys right and one of them is jensen jensen uh during their earnings call and we're going to share some quotes uh is very bullish in a market and he's very bullish in ai avatars and i'm going to explain a bit why but he believes in the next five years ai avatars will be used for numerous customer services and hospitality services and i went in and kind of grabbed the information some of the quotes from the transcripts from the earnings call let me just say all these transcripts were kind of done through some form of program and they're not 100 percent accurate so there might be a mixed up in words um, but first so the virtual robotics application digital buys of avatars is going to be likely the largest robotic opportunity and he's talking about these little avatars right here i have another picture here of one being used in like a, a drive-through or a food place uh, and he proceeds to break down revenues for this and we're going to explain about that a bit but he says this is really going to be one of the largest graphics opportunities that we've ever seen. And this is, again, towards AI robots. It then goes and says chips are enablers, but chips don't create markets. Software creates market. And I think this is the great thing about NVIDIA. They have the chips, but they give these chips a purpose by creating the software behind it. And then this is the one. I believe Omniverse avatars will be in drive throughs and restaurants, fast food restaurants, Check out with restaurants in retail stores all over the world within less than five years. And this is someone in the forefront of technology. This is someone seeing technological improvements happening in real time. So for someone like this to kind of mention this bullishness in this market, to me, it tells me as an investor, Jose, we need to get on it right now. What are some companies affecting it? Do you want 10 free stock picks right now? Well, if you do, let's take a quick listen to today's sponsor. A great reason why I'm able to provide so much content to you guys for free. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 free stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 4x. Go to fool.com slash Jose to get your free 10 stock picks now. Uh, but then this kind of bullishness in AI avatars comes because of the technological improvements. He mentions that for these AI avatars to work perfectly all of the following technologies need to have been in place. And these are things that have been working over time. Number one is graphics computing power. And this is something that NVIDIA does very, very strongly with their graphics processing unit. Second, physics simulations. These kind of AI robots need to obey the law of physics and they need to be believable, right, to people. So we need to have strong physics simulations. That's working right now. Third is AI, and AI is being used for numerous things in AI avatars, voice recognitions, right? Need to understand what the person is saying, but more important, conversational AI, right? And that's super important. It's 
not only what a person is saying, how to respond to it, depending on the tone, depending on what they're asking. So conversational is important. And then vision AI, right? Being able to understand who's talking, where they're at and, and position. So all these need to be in place. And finally, finally, the fourth piece, and he was saying it's the missing piece, obviously a bit biased because it's a product he has, but it's Omniverse computer that must not just do AI, not just do physics, not just do computer graphics, but all of it together at once. And this is where the Omniverse computer and Omniverse platform is being strong, is being looked at. Uh, so we can see right now, what I believe is one of the biggest markets is going to be the AI avatars in the next few years. Mm -hmm. So now I want to talk about some of the companies to watch. The first one I'm going to mention is Unity. This is content creation, a company that does content creation, modeling, and physics simulations. So if we take a quick look at Unity, this is currently traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker U. I do want to say, right, this stock has kind of overextended in the past few uh, weeks or days um, due to the overall talks of metaverse uh, so right now uh, this price might be a bit overextended maybe something for like small dollar cost averaging position for me not personally a time to really go in heavy but one to keep an eye out unity is in my portfolio and it's one of my top five positions at the moment prior to this run-up uh, but unity like i mentioned it's a game engine platform but it's used for so many more things you can use it for content creators for film animation for ai simulation and, and real-time 3D um, content. And that's where this company is focusing. If you have ever created in Unity, you understand that they do have libraries behind to kind of do real physics objects. So Unit, Unity helps you simulate physics in your project to ensure that objects correctly accelerate and respond to collisions, gravity, and various other forces. Unity provides different physics engines, implementations, which you can use according to your project needs. 3D, 2D, object oriented and data oriented as well. And like I mentioned, right, it's not only a, a, a platform you can use for physics simulation, it's also a platform you can use for animation, which you would need to do for these, for example, AI robots. Uh, Unity most recent earnings, they reported 43% um, growth on revenue, a strong grower, um, still very, uh, I want to say not profitable at the moment, but they are growing in customers in markets as well and they are positive in cash flow from operations i also wanted to take a quick look at their balance sheet if we take a look quarterly this is a company with plenty of cash current investments and very low non-current debt and even current debt so fundamentally positive cash flow strong balance sheet and in the market i believe can do well in this ai avatars the second company i want to talk about is sorrent and this is a company that co focuses on conversational ai right now they're focusing in conversational ai or artificial intelligence um, com, um voice in the car industry but that technology can be used in other markets and it seems like they're trying to do that obviously something that's going to be needed uh, by ai avatars so if we take a quick look at sorrents this is another tier one position in my portfolio uh right now traded under the nasdaq traded as ticker crnc this one is not as overextended as unity this is my, maybe a mid dollar cost averaging in my opinion uh, at these levels but if we take a look this company is known for the AI for a world in motion. So for example, you have a, a smart car right now where you're able to conversate with it prior to any form of either Android app or Play Store or Apple Play, or um, if you're able to conversate with your car right now, it's most likely being worked on through Sorrent. Sorrent's right now, uh, I wanna say over, they have a, a nice number uh, where they, uh, it's over one, 53% of total cars in their last trailing 12 months, 53% of worldwide cars um, in the trailing 12 months came with some form of Sorrent's technology and helping this AI conversational. Uh, we can see in forms of market cap, this is a super small company, about $4 billion. Revenue per quarter is about $100 million, up 29%. Obviously, right now, they're very dependent in the automobile industry as that market is very fluctuated with ship shortage, but they are profitable in gap net incomes. They're also positive in cash flow from operations. If we take a look at their balance sheet, remember, they are a little bit more stable. They are profitable, positive in cash flow from operations. So they might be a bit leveraged, but I think that's okay based on their current metrics. Um, but more importantly, what I really enjoy about Sorrents is the future growth. Right now, they're pretty much in four wheelers, but they're looking to move this conversational in I into other products like two wheelers, like elevators, like 
cruise line, public transit. So these are markets, uh, like Jensen was talking about, that in the next five years could see a huge, huge growth in AI avatars. Uh, so that would be the second company. And now the third company. The third company is actually one I don't own, but I think I might just jump in the train in the next few weeks or so. Uh, and this is going to be a UI path. This is a company that focuses in automated software robots. And the problem is right now they're really just focusing on automated robots. These are not AI robots. They are increasing their technology to focus on AI robots. And that would be something um, that can help or be within the similar market if that's where this tech this company wants to take it. Uh, so if we take a quick look at UiPath, currently traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker path. This is one, one that has de definitely taken a huge beating recently, uh, down a nice amount from its high, about 36.27. If there was a time for me to add, I think now would be the time. And like I said, in the probably the next few weeks, one I will wouldn't mind having in my portfolio. The UI bath, like I mentioned, they make software robots so people don't have to be robots. They do a lot of repeatable tasks right now. For example, here in the doctor example, uh, they say how the robot does a lot of the manual work, like uh pulls lab report, updates patient records, and alerts physician, right? A lot of the things that the uh, a doctor or uh, anybody could do, right? Uh, so the robot takes that kind of step and saves a lot of time for the doctor, where the doctor will probably make about five minutes to complete the task. Now with this automated robot, it will take less than a minute. One technology that they're really focusing on, and this is RPA. RPA is called Robotic Process Automation. One thing that UiPath is really focusing on is combining AI and RPA. So now these robotics that are doing automated processing, now if you combine them, give them some form of brain, they'll be, be able to become smarter and be able to learn new concepts to do and overall improve their efficiency and improve the overall task that they can complete. At the beginning, they're still in early stages here, but if this is able to work out perfectly, I mean, in all opinion, in my own opinions, if you have UiPath, if you have Sorrent working together, if there was one company doing all of these things together, you would have the perfect AI avatar and you would have somebody like Unity creating a lot of these fixed simulations. So those three companies are the ones I am enjoying. UiPath, they do report earnings on December 8th of 2021. So uh, about two weeks from now. Uh, very, very in forms of, they're still a growth company, uh, not profitable at the moment. Uh, they're... Uh, annual recurring revenue is about 726 million. It grew about 60% year over year. And we can take a look at their balance sheet. Their balance sheet is super strong, 1.8 billion, almost no debt to their name, uh, no current debt and very little non-current debt. The only thing is UiPath, I wanna say a lot of people talk about this company and say, hey, it might be a high market cap company right now compared to where it's at, about a $30 billion. Uh, but still, these three companies excite me, guys. So if you have any companies in your mind that you believe can benefit from AI avatars, please share on the comments below. Uh, I would definitely appreciate it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you, uh, a lot of other readers would enjoy the different companies. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you guys haven't, go to YouTube, right? And check out the AI avatars video from NVIDIA. Also check out the transcript from their earnings call just to hear the mindset or even listen to it just to hear the mindset of their CEO Jensen and how he's very, very bullish about this market. I mean, every almost every question that was answered, he would kind of go with AI avatars within it. And like I said, for someone in the forefront of technological advancement, really being really bullish in a market like this, it tells me, Jose, you need to keep an eye on it right now. So take care, guys. Have a good day and see you next time.